Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make an API request in JavaScript using the Fetch API. Now, this is not TypeScript, it's not React, it's just a plain vanilla Fetch API request. So here I have my basic HTML file and I'm going to type some JavaScript inside these script tags. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to define the URL I'm going to use with my Fetch API request. I'm going to use my weather API request from weatherapi.com. The first thing I'm going to do is create a fetch request using the fetch function. I'm going to go ahead and print out this result with the console.log function and run this program. So as you can see in the console, fetch has returned a promise, but we can't access the data from the API without first resolving the promise. So the first step is what you want to do is add a wait before the fetch call. But if we run this, you'll see that in the console, we're actually going to run into an error. A wait is only valid in async functions. So what we need to do is create a wrapper function, which will be a asynchronous function. And we're going to call the same code inside that function. So let's go ahead and define it as function get temperature. And before the function definition, we're going to add a sync. Again, that's going to make this function asynchronous. Now we can move this code inside this function. And so what we can do now is we can call this function by name, get temperature, right after its definition. So I'm going to call this function right here. And by doing it this way, this function will return a resolved promise, which is going to turn into a response object. Now, from this point on, what we should do is we should convert this result into the JSON object which is being returned from this API. So I'm going to use the result object and call the JSON method on it. But to fully resolve our promise into the JSON object, we also need to use the then method. So I'm going to create a JSON variable here and output it in the console log function. So let's go ahead and run this program now and see what happens in the console. So as you can see, we're finally getting the JSON object from the API call and it has current property and it also has location. So I'm going to go inside the current property and browse down to see where we have temperature. And so to grab this value, I'm going to create a new variable and I'm going to call it temp and I'm going to assign json.current.temp underscore f. And so I'm going to output this temp variable in the console log function and run the program again. And as you can see, it's 51.8 degrees in London right now.